We have a special guest with us today, Miss Gina. Hey friends, how are y'all today? What are you wearing, Miss Gina? Oh, I have on my hat oh, and my. I have on my special shirt because I want to go outside. I do too. Do you want to go outside and yeah. see if we can find some animals? Oh, that sounds like fun. All right, let's go. All right. Hey, Miss Beth, what's the first animal that you'll think you'll find today? It's Mr. Beaver. Is Can he? you tell me a little bit about Mr. Beaver? Yeah. He lives in a lodge down by the river that's made of sticks, and he built it himself. Ooh. Can you believe that? That sounds like fun. Did you know that he eats wood? I did not know that. In fact, his teeth grow constantly, so they're always strong and just right for chewing on wood. Wow, that sounds neat. All right, let's keep going and see what other animals we can find out here in our adventure outside. Hey, Miss Beth, look what I see in the tree. What kind of animal is that? It's a hedgehog. Did you know that the hedgehog has prickles all over his back? And when he gets scared, he rolls up into a ball to protect himself. Ooh, I didn't know that. He's a great swimmer and he climbs trees too. Wow, and he's just so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> All right, as we're traveling along, Miss Beth, what else do you think lives in trees? Can you help me with our story time, friends? Miss hmm. Beth, we're coming through the forest and what, what else lives in a tree? It's a barn owl. Ooh, he's very pretty. Did you know his eyes can see really well at night and his feathers are super soft so he can be really quiet while he's flying around hunting for his food. He likes to sleep in the trees like this or in barn rafters. Ooh, he sounds like a very interesting animal. Do they sleep at night or do they sleep during the day? They sleep during the day. Do you know what that's called? I uh, can't remember. Can you refresh my memory? That means he's nocturnal. Oh, nocturnal. I like that word. Can all of our story time friends say nocturnal? Good job, guys. Mm. Let's see what else we can find on our adventure to the forest. Look, story time friends, it looks like we've come across an opening. Miss Beth, Miss Beth. Yeah? I see an animal. What kind of animal is that? It's a moose. A moose? Oh my goodness, tell me a little bit about a moose. Well, a moose is an excellent swimmer. They love to swim. And did you know that they lose their antlers every fall and then grow a bigger, better set every year? Oh, I actually didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Kind of like when we lose our baby teeth and we get adult teeth. For sure. Cool. And that little flap of skin on his throat is called a bell. Scientists don't really know why they have one. Huh, that's pretty neat. I think the moose is worth investigating. Hmm, I bet we've got some books at the library on the moose. What do you think? I'm sure we do. Ooh, we'll have to check those out. That'd be awesome. Miss Beth, Miss Beth, it looks like we've come across another animal in the forest. Oh my goodness, it's a skunk. It's a skunk. Aren't you supposed to be really quiet around those? I think so. Okay, but you need to tell me why. Tell me a little bit about that skunk. Well, he protects himself by spraying a stinky smell. It's pretty gross. Yes. Did you know he's also nocturnal? Oh, there's that word again, nocturnal. So he sleeps during the day and then he's awake at night. Oh, he's awake at night and not during the day? Yeah. Oh. So maybe we won't run into him too often. Yeah, and maybe he's asleep right now. I hope so. Let's hurry up and move away from him so he doesn't wake up. Okay. Miss Beth, Miss Beth, it looks like we've come up on another animal. I'm not real sure what this particular animal's called. Do you have some stuff to tell us about this one? I do, this is a gray wolf. He's a member of the canine family. Canine family? Isn't that a dog? It is that wolves love to work and live together in packs so that they can play and hunt together. And they make all kinds of noises just like dogs do. So they whine and growl and they even howl. Ooh. Storytime friends, can you guys do 
a howl like a wolf. Let's hear everybody. Good job. Hmm. Is there any other facts about the wolf that we should know? They sleep in dens or under shrubs or trees. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Sounds like they like to go camping. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Miss Beth, it looks like that we have hopped up on a rabbit. I love rabbits. Okay, there's lots of facts about rabbits. You're gonna have to tell us all about them. All right. Rabbits live underground with other rabbits in a warren. Have you ever heard of a warren? A warren? I sure haven't. Can you tell me what a warren is? Yeah. A warren is a group of tunnels and rooms dug underground by the rabbits, and that's where they all live together. And rabbits' teeth never stop growing just like the beaver's teeth. They love to eat veggies and grass and wildflowers. And did you know that they purr like a cat when they're happy? I did not know that. That's pretty cool. And here I was just thinking rabbits ate carrots. <laughs> Miss Beth, it looks like we've come across another striped animal. It, but you've already told us about a skunk. What animal is this? That's a raccoon. Oh. It is nocturnal like a skunk. Oh, and I see it has stripes too. I think we're gonna have to learn a little bit more about him. Yeah, he's an excellent swimmer, just like the moose is. Did you know he's related to bears? No, I had no idea. He likes to live in places like trees and logs and maybe even barns and sheds. Oh, so that means he might could be out in our barn hiding? Maybe. Uh-oh, we'll have to watch out for those raccoons. Miss Beth, it looks like we've come up on another animal in the trees. It's a grizzly bear. A grizzly bear. Sounds like we're gonna have to be quiet again. Yeah, really quiet. Okay, but you still got to tell us about him. All right, so a grizzly bear is an omnivore. An omnivore? Let's say that story time, friends. Omnivore. Can you tell us what an omnivore is? It means that he eats both plants and animals. Oh, okay. That's pretty fun. A grizzly bear can live up to 25 years in the wild. That's a long time. That is a very long time. I didn't realize that bears lived that long. Yeah, and he lives in a den and hibernates during the winter. Hibernates? Hey, I remember we talked about that word in our story time this year. Hmm, story time friends, can you remember what hibernate means? Good job! All right, Miss Beth, for those friends that don't know, can you tell us what hibernate is? It means that they sleep during the winter. Oh, sleep during the winter. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. It doesn't. Miss Beth, it looks like we've come on a little baby. Can you tell us a little bit about this baby? It's a little baby fox. He's so cute. He's so cute. But I think we need to know a little bit more about him just from his cuteness. Let's see. He'll eat almost anything from berries to worms to spiders. Ooh. Yuck. And did you know that foxes use 28 different calls to communicate with each other? I did not know that. That's pretty neat. And they love to hide their food to eat later, probably in their dens because that's where they sleep. Oh, neat. Now, are these animals nocturnal? They are mostly active at night but sometimes they'll come out during the day. Oh, because they're sly like a fox. Yeah. So Miss Beth, it looks like that you have told us a lot about lots of different animals. Thank you so much for sharing that with Storytime friends today. Oh yeah, it was fun. But you know what? I'm kind of getting tired on this trip. Yeah. You think it's about time to go back inside? I think so. Okay. That was so much fun. I know. Thank you, Miss Beth, for letting me go on your forest adventure with you and your storytelling friends. Thank you for coming with me. It was fun. It looks like that you have one of our animals. I do. I brought the barn owl. Oh, the barn owl. Hey, that reminds me. We have a song about the owl. Do you want to do it with me? That sounds great. All right. All right, storytelling friends, let's get ready. 
Everybody pretend like they're an owl. Get your wings ready. And we're gonna sing like this. Flap your wings and fly around, fly around, fly around. Flap your wings and fly around, just like an owl. Open your eyes big and wide, big and wide, big and wide. Open your eyes big and wide, just like an owl. Land on the ground and hop along, hop along, hop along. Land on the ground and hop along, just like an owl. That was so much fun. Let's do the other one. You ready? Yeah. All right. Turn your head and say, boo, boo. Say, boo, boo. Say, boo, boo. Turn your head and say, boo, boo. Just like an owl. Yay. Good job, story time friends. Miss Beth, thank you so much for sharing all these animals with our story time friends. Okay. They really educated us to know what they do. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you again. Yeah. And we have tons of books about all of these animals right here at the library. Oh, but how do we get them at the library? Because right now the library's not open for the public. So we can go online and reserve the books, and then we'll have them ready for you when you get here. Oh, so our friends can go with their grown-ups online and reserve those books, and then we go get them for them? Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. I like that a lot. So we'll be looking for you guys to do some reserves so that you can get some books about animals. I hope y'all have a great Saturday. Bye. Bye.